referring to density as compact development. Because when the, here, when the citizens hear about density, it's opposition immediately. So when I was chairman of the Spark Growth Panel, I tried to get that in, compact development. Don't talk about density. Agenda 21 was revealed at the United Nations Conference on Environment and Development, or the Earth Summit, which was held in Rio de Janeiro on June 14, 1992. Agenda 21 defines itself as a comprehensive plan of action to be taken globally, nationally, and locally by organizations of the United Nations system in order to further the agenda of sustainable development. This is actually where we get the term sustainable development from Agenda 21. Amongst the stated objectives of Agenda 21 is the rewilding of America through the Wildlands Project. This project would remove human beings from over half of the land in America and deem these areas core wilderness zones. Regardless of where your family farm once was, human beings will not be allowed to set foot in these areas. There would also be highly controlled and monitored buffer zones around these areas in which travel would be severely limited. Finally, humans would be forced to live in compact, futuristic cities full of skyscrapers where travel is controlled and tracked. This is what the eventual culmination of smart growth is going to look like. It sounds crazy, I know. I was just as dubious when I heard, first heard about it too. However, upon reading their own documents, it turns out that it's all true. It's called the Wildlands Project, part of Agenda 21. I suggest you all look into it in detail because you're about to pass an ordinance that's beginning the process. First of all, I want to congratulate you on referring to density as compact development. Because when the, here, when the citizens hear about density, it's opposition immediately. So when I was chairman of the Spark Growth Panel, I tried to get that in, compact development. Don't 